Hello and welcome to this session on Java Beginner Tutorial. Today we are going to learn about Eclipse. We will start from very basic. We will download Eclipse and then uh, we will start Eclipse and get ready for our Java programming. So let us begin and let us first understand what is an IDE. So IDE is Integrated Development Environment. And why do we need an IDE for programming in Java or any other development in any language is because uh, we can anyways write a pro Java program on a text pad or a notepad or any editor and we can compile and run it. There is no problem we can do that but still when we start creating projects we will need a platform where we can have all our files which can interact to each other and we can uh, we need a platform where we can where it's very easy to coordinate between various components of the projects so in in that ways we need a platform where everything can be integrated in a single space and it becomes very easy for the development process so therefore we need a kind of a tool or software or a platform where all the development for that particular language can be done so that's why we need an ide and eclipse is an ide for java and many other programming languages and there are some other ids as well so let us begin and step one will be we have to download eclipse okay so uh, i'm going to google and i will say eclipse download and i'm going to this very first site eclipse ide for java e developers and here you can see there are different releases of eclipse so you can select any release neon is the uh, recent release so i'll select neon packages and here you have to go to eclipse ide for java ee developers and whatever your operating system is you can go and you can select the uh, version of your operating system and download eclipse so let us say if i am on uh, windows here I will select Windows 32-bit or 64-bit and to know what is the bit count of your operating system you can go to your my computer right click go to properties and here you should see it will tell you system type 64-bit or 32-bit okay so in my case it is 64-bit Windows I will also show you on Mac so in, in Windows I will select 64 bit and here you have a download button and then you have a file which is a zip file now I will recommend that you take this zip file instead of downloading the Eclipse application uh, the reason for that is if you download Eclipse and uh, set it up as an application on Windows then it will be coupled with your operating system instead if you take this zip file and unzip it there will be a separate folder for eclipse where all the settings and all the plugins will be there so you do not uh, have to be dependent on any uh, variables or anything on this system you can take that particular folder on any system and uh, your eclipse will work with all the settings that you have done so i am going to select this particular zip file i will take this zip file and it will start downloading as of now I will cancel because I already have it so if you go to your downloads you have this Eclipse zip file folder you can take it from here and keep it at any location on your system where you want your Eclipse to be so in my case let me put it on uh, D drive you will extract this with any of the softwares and while extracting you can even if you want you can give a smaller name to the folder it's not necessary that you keep the same name so once it is extracted you will have an Eclipse folder which will have an Eclipse exe file which you can directly click and your Eclipse will start
so once this is done I will show you how exactly you will start Eclipse so this is done now this is the folder if you go inside the folder you will get an Eclipse exe you will double click this and it will start Eclipse and then it will ask you for uh, for providing the location of the workspace okay so see it is asking for a workspace now what a workspace is uh, all your projects and whatever development you do on Eclipse will be stored in some particular folder and that folder is called as workspace so you can create any folder for Eclipse projects or Java projects and provide that workspace location here so let us say in our case I will create a new folder and name it Java projects one minute let me yeah it is here so I will give this uh, location actually this was already existing so you can create a new folder where you want all your java projects which you create in eclipse to go give the location here and say ok so now this will start eclipse so let me also uh, write this down step 2 will be zip and start Eclipse provide workspace location okay and step 3 will be open workspace so now it should be workbench sorry open workbench so see now uh, Eclipse has started and it is giving you some uh, tutorials and other overviews for the first time you can if you want you can go through this it will be helpful if you are a beginner otherwise you can directly go to workbench here so this is the workbench and workbench means all the development that you will do will be here you will get all your projects created here and it has different kinds of views so in our next session we will get started with our first java program and again if you are on uh, Mac again you will do the same thing you will uh, download Eclipse for Mac here this one and it will get you a zip file again like this you will unzip this and then you will get this Eclipse app which you can uh, start and the same things that we have done on Windows so from now on anything that we do on Eclipse will be same whether you are on Windows or Mac the only initial part that was different on Windows and Mac was the basic Java installation that we have already covered in our earlier sessions from now on everything will be common so do not worry if you are following these sessions on Windows or on Mac everything will be common in case there is any difference I will be uh, telling you those differences in case there are so keep learning Java hope you like it thank you